Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Her Creations, and today is Fry. Yay! Um, it has been a long day. It's almost nine o'clock at night, so I know someone is watching this. Some of you are watching this on Saturday morning. So um, I just wanted to get on here. I haven't really done a lot of crocheting. I've had a really busy week, but I wanted to show you some yarn that I received real quick and what I did make. I did have time to make a few things, but they're all the same thing. <laughs> so yeah. So today is Friday, obviously. It is the 15th, the Ides of March. So if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Well, or yeah, having had, it's like I said, it's almost nine o'clock at night. Um, and I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden it just like, popped in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Friday. It's Friday. I mean, oh, it's just been one of those weeks. Some weeks are not so busy. Some are. Um, I've got, um, I'm a little tired. So <laughs> uh, not only did I work today, but I also had to go to the doctor because I missed three steps and I hurt my back. So um I needed help to get in this chair. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very painful. Uh, I have taken my first pain pill because I went to the doctor late this evening, um, late this afternoon, early evening, and she gave me um, a pill to take and I got a shot. So it's still uncomfortable, but uncomfortable is better than what I was going through because, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it was bad. I am wearing... Oh, sorry, I can't, like I just just moving. I I'm, I can't move, but I'm wearing my my shirt that I got from uh from Justine. God is dope. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Cause trying to move back and present, yeah, it's too much. So <laughs> I hope you guys are all um having a great day. I hope you're having a good start to your weekend. Uh, hi to all my subscribers every one of you from beginning to right now to future ones. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. So before I show you the only thing that I have been working on, I wanted to show you some yarn that I purchased. So um, I, I don't know how long ago it was, but one of you asked me, okay, hold on. Oh, I got to move a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. If you've had back pain, you understand what I'm going through right now. <sighs> um, what was I, where was I getting with this? Oh, yeah. So I used to be an influencer for Timu. I am no longer an influencer. I was um, a little unhappy with some of the things that were um, being sold. They did like, they didn't do anything to me personally, but I, you know, I just decided it's better if I just um, not do anything. If I wanted to order something from Timu, you know, I will. Uh, I don't want them to have to pay me or give me anything free to do it. Because, um, yeah, they, uh, I, I don't want to get into it. But, um, and that's, you know, that's fine. It's them. This is my preference. I ordered some yarn from Sheen. I've never ordered yarn from them before. It's, I don't know. Um, my daughter gets clothes from them all the time. Um, and I did also order some yarn from Timu, some specific yarn that I was looking for. So um, I don't even know where that, oh, it was the, um, oh, where is it? The P, oh, here it is. Oh, hold on a minute. Eek. This was actually from Timu. I wasn't sure where I had gotten this from. And it was Timu. Uh, and I still couldn't tell you the specifics on it, but it was super thin, remember? So I just held one from the end and one from the outside and made a ear warmer with it because it's like, is that, look at that. That's really thin. So um, Abigail's ordering shoes or something and she goes, mom, did you know Sheen had yarn? And I go, what? So <laughs> I had to look. <laughs> And it was cheaper than the yarn I got off of Timu when I bought yarn there. So I ordered some. So I'm going to show you. They don't give you specifics on anything other than 
the color, well, obviously. Okay, well, the, <laughs> the color is royal blue. It says navy blue, but I mean, I guess. But I made, I made something out of this. So it came in a pack of three, because yes, I ordered a light purple. So you guys know if you've been following me, all right, um, if you've been following me, if you've been watching my videos, the last couple of videos, I've been making axolotls. Um, and I use one darker color and one lighter color for the gills and the fin. So I thought this was, this is so much prettier in person. And you guys, it is super soft. And <laughs> each one of these comes out it was like six dollars and eighteen cents for three of them so yeah um so i got the light purple so i figured i'd make the body and then the gills and the fins or whatever and then but and then the opposite so kind of like i did with the um juicy couture yarn sorry i moved wrong and it was just like not err I have to get up and walk because if I'm sitting too much, like I was I was sitting on the couch with my feet up for like the last 32 or 33 minutes because I, I, I had the heater, the heating pad on. That's how I know. And I was like, I got to get up and walk. I'm like, yeah, I'll just do a video. I wasn't going to do one. And I thought, nah, because I'm going to be working on this this weekend, this yarn. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. But yeah, I don't know if it's, it's still on sale. This took a week to get here. I ordered it last week. So that dark purple is just gorgeous. And I thought it would look really good with that. So um, anyway, the videos, the, a couple videos ago, I used the Juicy Couture and I got seven axolotls out of that yarn. And I know this is more than, well, I don't know, but I would hope it's more than 214 yards for three. So I'm hoping I can get more than that. Um, but I'm also, not only am I going to do axolotls, I also wanted to do... Um, some octaves and stuff. So this color, what does it say? Does it just say orange? Yeah. So it's light. It's not a really deep orange, but I just really liked that color. And then I got the green, which I thought would be good. Um, if I decide to make pickles, I haven't made, I made that one. Oh, I made two. I made two pickles. Um, and this came a little short because I was hoping to make some kind of St. Patrick's Day thing, but it's good for frogs. So it looks it looks like it's a number four. It doesn't say that, but it looks like it's, oh, I'm sure you can't see that through the bag. And then I got ivory. It says white, it looks off white to me. But so for $6 and 6.18 or 5.18, ooh, I'll have to look. I think, I'm pretty sure it was 6.18 because it came to like, two dollars and and a, like a few cents for each one so i got the white it says white it looks off white to me and the green and i got an orange one and then i got this lighter purple and this beautiful dark purple oh i cannot wait and then this gorgeous royal blue so i'm going to take this one out because i've already started with this one i wanted to feel it i should have weighed it i'll weigh it and see it just is so soft and squishy. It really, it really is. So it's a number four. It is definitely not a number five, but that's okay. I can deal with it. It's just so soft and squishy. Um, wow. I was very happy with it. This, I mean, that's a beautiful color. So you guys know I got this show coming up. It may be in June. But I'm prepping now. I'm doing market prep. I don't have another market that I'm aware of because y'all know the last time I said that, there were two that I had forgotten about. So, yeah. I got everything written down and it doesn't look like I had one. I had one in in Mar or May for Mother's Day, but um, it, they'd switched it to an outside event and I don't want to be outside uh, in May. There's only one outside event that I'm going to be doing and that is in September. Hmm. So... Last week when the yarn was on sale at Hobby Lobby, I got Daffodilly Silly. I got some more of them, but they're all in the living room. I'm not going to go get nothing. When I get up from here, it's back to the heating pad I go. So, 
but I thought those colors were so beautiful. And this is the color, one of the colors that Kelsey uses on Passionate Kelsey. Um, let's see. So this, this crushed velvet -y color. So this is the one, this is what I initially wanted to do, which is just a triple crochet. I attached the yarn to the ponio and just made triple crochets till it got nice and roughly. Nice and, yeah. And it's not bad. I mean, it's really cute. I love it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on. I've been eating too many Adamame beans. <laughs> I love those things. Uh, okay. So now that I hope I'm done burping and interrupting you guys, I'm so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, the crushed velvet in the, the navy blue this one right here was made around the ponio, just triple crochets all the way around. And then I decided to make, so this is different as well. Let's see, what's this one? No, this is double. So these are, I'm like, what am I doing? These are double crochets all the way around. As soon as I started the, the, um, I'm looking because I did some with single. Yep. This one was a single crochet. It's hard to see with the yarn, but I put single crochets around. Didn't really count them. Um, I just kept going until it was, um, you couldn't see any more of the ponytail holder. So maybe 40, maybe 42. And so I made another one of those. This one's a little bit smaller. So I figured the smaller ones I would sell um, two for five. And maybe these two for seven or two for eight. I don't know. But um, they're super cute. They're so roughly. I just love them. And they're soft and they're squishy. And yeah. So I'm very excited. So now we're coming to this. So this is why... Um, I wanted this particular color after seeing Kelsey use it because it makes an awesome looking scrunchie. <laughs> Look at that. So I have this. I'm, I'm going to be making those tonight. And I made one so far with the skinny yarn. Two. Three. Four. And five. So, so far, I have five scrunchies out of that one skein of yarn. So... I'm just going to keep going till it's gone. And this was the green. I was working on a green one. I made another green one. Okay. And it looks really good. This So this is good. I mean, it's still good and stretchy. Um, I didn't have any green ones. So this is like, I don't know. It looks like a light lime green or something. And I guess I don't really care. But I like for them to match the best I can. So I did order more ponios, um, colored ones. I have a lot that I did on black. Like this one I think is black. Nope, that's blue. And that one's blue. Maybe I did all these on blue. Did I do any on black ones? Uh, okay, well. So the ones, that, remember I told you guys I sold eight of them. So uh, the smaller ones, when I first started making them last week or the week before. Yeah, it's been a couple of weekends ago. And I took some to work just to see. And I had one person that purchased six of them and then another that purchased another two so i sold those to those um to my co-workers two for five because they were a lot smaller um let me see if i have one up here oh i do not okay but i've been i used the brown i think this is brown yeah i used the um brown ponios for this one but then i have a bunch that are let me let me get them here different colors oops Oh, um, that's going to sit on the floor too. <laughs> I put them in, I cleaned my cup out and I left it here because I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta drink some tea out of my cup. So I put some, um, I put some ponios in there and I like to use them the same color or close to the color of the yarn that I'm using. So with this one though, it didn't really matter because I've used like the pink one 
another pink one. I'm saying it doesn't matter now. There we go. Blue, because I've got blue in here. Um, this one is purple. And because of the colors, you can't really, and this is another blue one. So, or ponytail that I, pony O oh, that I used. Ponytailer, I don't know. What do you call those? I just love looking at them together. They're just, they just make me happy. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue to make scrunchies. This is going to be a scrunchie weekend. And I will make some axolotls out of these um, if I like them. Because they are, they are a little bit thinner than I would like. But man, you guys, look at that. I mean, just, it's, oh, it is just yummy. It's, wow. So if I don't like making the axolotls out of this yarn, if I think it's too thin, these will all be scrunchies. Yeah. And maybe I'll do some two-tones. Who knows? I just might get creative with it. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> oh, and I made an octo with... This, this is also... So this is Baby Bee Soft and Snuggly. This is also Baby Bee Soft and Snuggly, but I cannot remember the name of the yarn. Um, I was getting ready to make a, a scrunchie, and I thought, oh, I bet this would make a cute little, a cute little octo. And see how the legs are different? This, this is the way Rel makes them from the dabbling hook. So remember I told you my next one that I made... Um, I would make the tentacles like Rel makes hers for her pattern. So this is Rel from the Dabbling Hook. And I will have her link in the description box below. And it's just super cute. So these are the little guys that I plan on selling for five bucks at my craft show. Or my my market. I don't know. I have a lot of you call it markets. So, but whatever we want to call it, it's where I'll be selling some stuff. <laughs> so anyway... Yeah, it's so super cute. Yeah, I do like the I do like the way the tentacles look on these two. So I might just make a little bit of both. I want to make at least oh I don't know. I want to say maybe fifty. Let's start with fifty, and once I get to fifty, maybe I'll up that to sixty, and then we'll just keep going. But I know that it's important. It's always a good idea to have um, a lower price point for the people who don't want to spend a lot of money. So anywhere from five to 35, maybe $40 is a good price point for people. But when they have kids, especially if they see that there's a, a basket or, you know, a display of $5 items, they're more apt to buy them. And that's just not from speak, not just speaking from craft shows, but you know, I was a manager in retail for 17 years. So I level by level and do that suggestive selling. So when it's there, it's a good add-on. <laughs> it's a really good add-on. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up. It's time to get up, put my feet up. Back's kind of starting to bug me a little bit. Um, and what I wanted to tell you, if I can, if I can remember, because inserting a picture is new to me. So I don't know where it's going to be. It'll be, if I can get it, it'll be on one of these. Um, I had someone reach out to me about the checkered dish claws. I might have mentioned that to you. So I made her her dish claws and I sent them off. And I will submit a picture if I have one on my camera roll. I think I only took a picture of it as I was making it to make sure she liked it. Eh, if I have a picture, I'll put one up. If not... Uh, I'll just send you, I don't want to pop up a picture in this video of just like the little bit of it. I'll put it on the Facebook page. But anyway, um, thank you guys all so much for watching. And again, <laughs> I know it's late, but for all of you who are watching right now, I hope you have a wonderful evening and a fantastic weekend. And happy Saturday to the ones who are overseas or even in the States. If it's, I don't know, let's see, it's. I don't know. It might be. It might be um, early, early Saturday morning <laughs> where you are. If so, if it's your birthday on the 16th, happy birthday. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary. Um, I might pop in again tomorrow. Um, let's see how many more I get. So, so far I have five. 
out of this. So let's see how many more I can get out of here. And then I'll start with the second ball of yarn. Same, same specs. So this is a four ounce ball. There's 236 yards in a skein. So I've got five so far. Let's see how many I end up with. And um, I might get on here tomorrow or Sunday and show you guys how many I've made. That'd be fun. And I am going to make some with this beautiful velvet yarn too. It's so squishy. <laughs> I feel like that little girl in um, Despicable Me when she's talking about that that uh, unicorn. It's so fluffy. Maybe she says fluffy. I like squishy. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Um, and if anybody is wondering, um, I made chicken spaghetti uh, yesterday. So we're just having leftovers. Was it yesterday or the day before? Now this is day two. Jack helped make it. And so I'm sitting because I hurt my back. Um, this was a few days ago. Actually, it didn't even bother me the first day um, or that day that I did. I was just like, oh, you know how you catch yourself? And then the next morning, I was like, wow, what's going on with my back? And it just got progressively worse from there. But, you know, what? I mean, what do you do, right? Um, I do have a high tolerance for pain. So when it gets to the point where I have to go to the doctor, it's like, yeah, it's bad. So he helped me make it. It turned out so delicious. And this recipe I got on TikTok. And all I did was put in, I, w I knew I wanted to put chicken in the crock pot because I wasn't feeling all that great. So I put it in the crock pot and it cooked for like six hours um, with all the ingredients that he listed. I don't even know this guy's name. So it was, it's chicken. I'll tell you what, he, what we put in it. Chicken breast that cooked in the crock pot for six, six hours. But with that chicken was one can of Rotel. Um, seasoning to your liking. I just put paprika, onion, and garlic powder, and then I put minced, two tablespoons of um, minced garlic as well. And, um, oh, and I also put some rotisserie chicken seasoning. I love that stuff. So the chicken, the seasonings, one can of Rotel, that's the green chilies with the tomatoes, two cans of cream of chicken soup, and then you let that cook for six hours. And then you chop up your, your chicken, however you like it, chopped up. He cubed his. He took his chicken out and cubed it. And when he did that, he put a fourth of a cup of sour cream in there with um, three cups of Colby Jack cheese. I think he put the Colby Jack cheese in while it was cooking. He did. Anyway, just look it up on TikTok. It was there. But anyway, once you take the chicken out, you put the sour cream in there. I put the sour cream and the, the cheese in because my crock pot was hot. It's been, it was on uh, like high. I think I had it on high for like four hours. He said four to six hours. So um, I, cu I cut up my chicken and then I put the cheese in there with the cream cheese. And then I was cooking the pasta. I just put a whole box of spaghetti noodles. That's it. That's what I cooked. And then when it was done, I mixed it in the crock pot and turned the crock pot off. That's very important because you don't want to have like gummy um, noodles. So, yeah. So it was really good. I mean, really good. It had um, a nice creamy uh, sauce to go over the noodles when you mixed everything together. And then the chunks of the chicken, it was so, so good. Um, but again, I don't know the guy's name, but if you go to TikTok and put in the description or in the search engine... Um, crock pot chicken recipes. That's all I did. And he just popped up and he says, Hey guys, this is a great recipe. My picky kids loved it. That's all I remember him saying in there after telling us how to cook it, but it was really good. And I had never made it like that before. So you might want to try it. If you do, let me know. But yeah, I don't know who he is. <laughs> if I find him and look him up, I might, I might list him in here if, if that's even allowed. If not, just look him up on TikTok. It was great. Um, okay, so now I think that's it. We've talked about crocheting. We've talked about food. I am going to see how many of these I can get done. Uh, I'm not going to be up too late tonight. I'm going to put on, um, what did I want to watch? I'm probably going to watch, not Mommy Dearest, the other one. <laughs> She's in it, though. Uh, oh, my gosh. 
not mommy dearest but you guys i just don't remember it's not rebecca i watched that yesterday but i wanted to put i wanted to put something on um that have that obviously i've already seen so i don't have to look up um and watch tv i'm i am just doing these and i've made so many already it's not a big deal. I guess I could really look up and concentrate, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, um, the movie, oh, by the way, I remember the movie. It's Mildred, Mildred Pierce. That's what I want to watch tonight. So I'll watch that movie and I'll make as many scrunchies as I can. Then when the movie's over, I'm going to go to bed because now it's after nine o'clock. So um, thank you guys so much again for listening to me ramble. And I'll see you soon. I don't know. Whenever. Have a good rest of your evening and happy hooking. Bye for now.